Hey guys, Darth Glorik here with what I believe to be part 26, maybe, of our Warcraft 3 playthrough. So last time we uh, awakened the Druids of the Claw, and uh, we also rescued Illidan, one of my two favorite characters in the whole series. So, super excited. Now we are on Chapter 6, A Destiny of Flame and Sorrow. The following evening, deep in the corrupted forests of Felwood. brother thinks I am a villain. I'll show him my true power. I'll show him that the demons have no hold over me. Are you certain of that, demon hunter? Arthas! Are you certain your will is your own? Back again. You reek of death, human. You regret approaching me. Come then. You'll find that we're evenly matched. A battle of the ages ensues. Fighting like this forever. What is it you truly want? The dreadlord who commands this undead army is called Tychondrius. He controls a powerful warlock artifact called the Skull of Gul'dan. It is responsible for corrupting these forests. And you wish for me to steal it? Why? Let's just say that I have no love for Tychondrius, and the lord I serve would benefit from the Legion's downfall. Worth it. Why should I believe anything you say, little human? My master sees all, Demon Hunter. He knows that you've sought power your whole life. Now it lies within your grasp. Seize it, and your enemies will be undone. Worth it. Alright, destroy the demon gate guarding the skull, bring Illidan to the skull of Gul'dan. Now we get a super awesome one. So we have Roar, Juvenation, Bear Form, okay. Alright, so, now yeah, it looks like we have all kinds of good stuff. And we have Illidan this time. He has a scroll of town portal and a potion of greater mana, so that's not bad. Alright, so we are going to get to microing, and we will see you guys when something exciting happens. I grow impatient. Alright, welcome back. So, we have built up as big as we can get against our supply here. We're building up our bases. We've been attacked several times. I probably will include the one where I push out against the spiders. Uh, I didn't say anything, but I was I did do that a little bit. So, we pushed up. The, I found some spiders here. I don't know if this, if this side of our base is a dead end or not. Um, but I did push up a little bit. I have built up our forces and upgraded the snot out of everybody. We have the fancy glaives. We have the better range. Um, we have a lot of good stuff. So, we also got Druids of the Claw Master Training, so now they can be bears, which is great. They do lots of, they do lots of damage. Um, they will be good tanks. They will certainly help my melee groupage because the, uh, Night Elves suffer from that a little bit, in my opinion. Anyway, so hopefully we can get out here without being attacked immediately. So, yeah, anyway, so we're gonna push up against the spiders again. Um... Illidan has... We've seen some action, but uh, I think I'm probably going to build up three more and we're going to pu puke out Ancient Protectors. We, I got attacked by a by a Burning Legion once, one of the demon demons of the Burning Legion, and he almost killed this Ancient Protector by himself. So, so we are going to build up and get some more because, uh, dang. Anyway, so we are puking out upgrades. We're working on our last set right now. Anyway, we're gonna build at least a one or two in here, just so I can 
feel like. This one is so when this guy gets attacked, because he's, he's the, you know, on the edge here, uh, at least I can have two guys firing back is sort of the idea there. I mean, we're probably even going to get a lot because this is my biggest attack area. They always come out here or right here. So we're going to build a lot right there. Anyway, all right, time to push out and get some spiders. Some spitters. You dare speak to me. Die, spitters. I grow they're big and their poison attacks are annoying as all heck, so that's the reason I have uh, gotten so many. Anyway, not very strong. They're uh, not super strong once you have some better units. Uh, originally, they caused me quite a bit of poison damage. Um, but now I have... Uh, let's see. I got a mana stone. Increases the mana regen of heroes by, by of the hero by 25% when worn. Also can be consumed for 300 mana. So we won't be consuming it. But uh, at least, you know, mo most likely. But I will certainly not turn it down. There's a lot of creatures over here. Anyway, but yeah, my guys are uh, really upgraded, so we're doing so our uh, we're doing pretty sweet. We're doing pretty good. Our guy, my guy, our guys are pretty strong. So lots of good upgrades. You can't heal him fast enough. Anyway, I'm trying to poke out here, see if I can find like a any side quests or anything. Is what we're looking at. So yeah, we're out. We are fighting corrupted night elves. Dare speak to me. But I don't know. Is this a fully fledged base or just a couple of guys? I don't know. But ancient protectors are not very strong. Not even the corrupted ones. So we're just gonna continue pushing in. And I have a lot of upgrades on my guys here. So let's say eventually it's gonna run out of mana. See, there, there's that, uh... Anyway, we are... We're pushing back, but we are losing guys here. Come on, kill that one, though. Wow, they just push in full throttle. That's annoying. Holy, there's an army attacking me. All right, we got to fall back. We got to fall back. It's, we're having lots of success, but apparently it doesn't matter because I am now suddenly being attacked by an, an army of guys. All right, welcome back. So we are uh, we're fully upgraded. All of our upgrades are done. We've rebuilt our base. We have built a little bit up more on this side. I don't expect to be heavily attacked here, but it was the right thing to do. We, there is no optional quest for this one. There's just this and then this. Um, I'm assuming after we destroy the skull, maybe we'll get an objective to destroy bases or something. I really don't know. Um, but anyway, so that's what I'm thinking. So we're probably going to push out. Um, part of me is a little bit nervous to leave because the second I do, I'm going to be attacked by an army. I can feel it in my bones. But alas, we can't just sit here forever. You don't win battles by being defensive. And I have quite the army built up. And it's finally nice because now that we're closer to the end game, so to speak, of the campaign, now we're finally getting uh, varieties of units. Now I have, you know, Druids of the Claw, and I have Druids of the Talon, and I have Dryads, and Huntresses, and Archers. and So now I can, you know, spice up my, my army a little bit. Because before, you're just, I mean, at first it was just literally Archers and then Huntresses. So you're just pretty much spamming Huntresses. Um, and so it's it's wasn't fantastic, but now we have quite the variety We have just all kinds of different units, and it really makes me much more dangerous on the battlefield So that's so that's great. It makes my armor my army much more viable these ruins of the claw really are my the tank of my army so to speak um, So that's pretty sweet and now that I'm fully upgraded my army is quite powerful um, Just I have all kinds of power now like the all the huntress's abilities they bounce like three times or something so it bounces a whole bunch of times and i and then i have my spellcasters that can sort of hang in the back and um i and then i have yeah i have all kinds of units and they 
each all allow to uh, allow me. I don't even know what I'm trying to say here. I'm trying to concentrate on killing things and not die. Anyway, but yeah, I have all kinds of abilities, and they together my army works really well together. I have enough of the I have enough, I have enough huntresses and druids of the claw to really pack a punch. Um. So anyway, so I have enough to really pack a punch here. We're gonna clear this base out, um, just in case we need to expand. But I'm so powerful that we do pretty good with even without it. We're probably gonna lose. I'm assuming we're gonna lose this uh, ancient protector. It's gonna be close. Yeah, I, th I think we're gonna lose him. Yep. Alright, let's go ahead and build another one to repair it. Anyway, so we're gonna look around now. That high up keep will disappear in just a sec. Anyway, we're gonna clear the way here. Clear some of these mobs. For one, it'll give us a little bit more money, which is great. Um, but also, but the also main reason is because the less guys between me and my objective, the better. Well, there's a lot of expansions. They really expect me to have to expand. Hey, Illidan leveled up. Probably gonna grab Immolation. He also has Evasion, which gives a 30% chance to avoid an attack. So he's kind of hard to hit. Oh, well, cool. We... In we uh we hit this army that was pretty convenient I'm trying to mana burn him so he can't just kill me ha huh. what an idiot he just stood there and just took it and died what an idiot anyway we're gonna make sure there's nothing between my base and me now although I do want Illidan to grab the claws of attack that's for sure all right the units are healed up a little bit better I'll probably, I think we'll probably just keep pushing towards the main objective because until I know what the side objective objective is, I'm not crazy inclined to you know go to jump at it. I guess we'll just attack there. I mean, I don't know if you get poisoned just standing in this water. It kind of looks like you would get some sort of crazy disease, but you know. But I'm ready to push into the objective here. Destroy that skull. Save our forest. Nobody allowed. We just don't allow this kind of tomfoolery. Nobody gets to corrupt our forest. So, so far, not that hard. When you have the sweet units like I do, it's not super difficult. I'm assuming there's like, I was about to say, I'm assuming there's like a base up here. We're gonna push back up this way. Just trying to intercept as many mobs as possible. We're gonna run up here. We got plenty of huntresses and druids of the claw leading the charge, and it's cool because those the claw, the druids of the claw, really are a a better tank, uh, which is nice for me because I sort of, they sort of lacked in the in that department. I think um, the night elves, in my opinion, in my humble opinion, weren't super known for uh, weren't super known. For their uh, their their melee units. Now we are going to lose units here, but you know this is like the final push before this. So we're losing unit. We are losing units, but we're doing really well considering. We are getting attacked in the rear, though. And we're fighting, but. Of course, they hit hit all my spellcasters. Man, how many of those guys do you have? You dare speak to me. Our gold mine has collapsed. The demons nearby. All right, go. I'm blind, not dead. One thing at a time, guys. I know it hurts. Ignore it. Stop doing that, you idiot. I hate that ability. All right, we're, we're doing okay. We, we lost a lot of units, but that was like the final countdown, so... No, you leave my ranged units alone. All right, we cleared that first major hurdle. We're going to go ahead and fall back. Probably going to fall back to this gold mine and rebuild my army, and we'll see you guys in a second. 
All right, welcome back. So, uh, we got attacked pretty bad. I, I don't have... I ran pretty much out of money. I was really low, so I'm also stuck in high upkeep because I was right against my limit, and then I built wisps to build ancient protectors, and so I'm... It's, it's sort of a slow process, so... I'm trying, so this is my tiny little mining base. I did not move my fancy tree up here. The Tree of Eternity is still at my base. This is another one I built because it seemed like a better idea to send a less valuable one uh, up there. So I have a third. This wisp is going to build another one, probably another protector, maybe right there. Because uh, I'm more concerned about being attacked from here. I'm worried that they're going to ignore my main base and attack that little mining base. So I'm probably going to build my third protector right in the center. Because they don't have to go back and forth. So that shouldn't disrupt any money, obviously. Um, so we will hop out of high upkeep as soon as we have 240. There we go. So we'll probably just put it... I don't know. We'll, we'll probably put it right there. It's I would prefer it closer to these, but it is what it is. There we go. Now we're out of the that upkeep. So that'll make me some more money. Forces are all healed and rebuilt. We're ready to go. Says something about the Druids of the Claw, though, because even after that big ol' fight, didn't lose any. I also didn't lose the Druids of the Talon, either, so that's pretty sweet. But anyway, we're gonna push back up towards the Claw here. Or, toward the Claw. <laughs> towards the, uh, Skull of Gul'dan. I'm just trying to get- keep my army together. We've been attacked a lot of times, but, uh... Please get out of the fire. I'm hey. Alright. Is that all? We're continuing to press up. Those uh demon guys are pretty annoying, but they're not the end of the world. Our sacred I grow it's not shocking. The satyrs know exactly when I leave, so now they know when to attack. And it's a massive army. So that's a problem. Well B, what did I build? Oh. Yeah, that's a problem. Okay, welcome back again. So we're hoping we can attack rapidly before I get attacked again. We we rebuilt my ancient protectors, but we are just gonna sprint in here because apparently the second I leave, I get attacked. So so I'm trying to hurry up and kill everything that everything that moves. I'm just hitting the biggest guys because they're the ones I'm most worried about. All right, go, 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 before they can attack. These paltry demons will not prevent me from claiming it. These guys aren't as tough as the bigger guys, I think. We are going to probably lose some guys here, but... Destroy it! Destroy it! I'm assuming they're probably gonna throw in at least one more demon before this is all over. Hey! Is that all? Make it fast. I'm blind. All right. You might as well, they already hate you anyway. Alright. <laughs> now I am complete. Hey, now we have super roided out. I'm blind, not deaf. Are there demons nearby? Alright. We are now my personal mission here is to destroy everything that breathes in this forest that's not me. Why? Because I have a personal vendetta. That's why. After all the 
trouble they caused me. The plan now is to steamroll them. And I'm not really after all the mobs necessarily. My goal is to get find the satyr base on that side that keeps attacking me. And I think it's right there. So we're gonna go ahead and push there. Alright, so now she's running up there. I'm a lot less worried about everything, because I've been attacked on this side once by a couple of skeletons. That, I've never seen any of this base up here do anything. Um, the satyr base is the one I'm going to destroy over here, and I think it's, I'm hoping it's this. Uh, because I have a personal vendetta to prove, man. They attacked me so many times right when I left, and I need to know that I can just destroy them without interference. So they're gonna die. This base is dead because I'm not having it. Go, Illidan, go! Die! That's right, with Illidan it doesn't matter how many you are. We are losing guys, but we are also attacking their main base, so... It's to be expected. Plus, we're killing them faster than they're killing us. I mean, look how much damage Illidan's doing. Focus on the thing, Illidan. Thank you. And he can't get past the... We're pinned in here. Alright, first, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have Illidan destroy everything super dangerous. There we go. Alright, now I feel comfortable. And they still have demons? How, though? I destroyed them. It's not fair, man. It's not fair. Alright, welcome back. So, we got attacked. We rebuilt the base. Rebuilt my forces. These guys are a little bit banged up because I got attacked by demons, like, twice. So, they're banged up, but we're alive. And uh, now we're gonna press up and kill some, kill some peasants. Let's go. Not alone, please, not alone. There we go. Nice. Keep going, guys. Keep pushing. Tychondrius! Where is Illidan? Oh, he's as far back as he possibly could be, naturally. Yeah, we're gonna lose a lot of guys in this one, but this is the final push, so it is what it is. Haha! <laughs> Not even you can kill all of us. Kill the Doom Guard in the back, please, Eleven. There, he's alone. Kill him. Forgot how much fun that sleep ability is. Yeah, we got him. Most of my forces are asleep, but we got him. Foul demon. What have you done with my brother? Relax. It is I, Purim. This is what I've become. No. Illidan, how could you? 
for the best reasons. Undead has been destroyed, and the forests will heal in time. At the cost of your soul, you are no brother of mine. Be gone from this place, and never set foot in our lands again. So be it, brother. Tell you what, though, the more I do this, the more we listen to Furion yak on, the less and less I like him. I just feel like he's completely ungrateful for Illidan's sacrifices. Yes, there are things that Illidan has done that aren't the greatest, but, you know, he, but I, I feel like he has often has a really good reason. Like, it's not what Furion would do, but Furion's kind of a coward. Yeah, I said it. Anyway, uh, so we're going to watch the interlude, and then we will be, we'll probably call this part. So this is interlude, The Last Guardian. Two days later in a tranquil glade of Mount Hyjal. We have no time for this, Furion. What are we doing out here? Last night in a dream, a great raven spoke to me and summoned me to this place. Oh, the prophet's been at work. We oh, well, well. Here as well. Who are you, Outlanders? I am Thrawn, son of Durotan, war chief of the Horde. And I am Jaina Proudman, leader of the human survivors of Lordaeron. You are not welcome. Shut up, Dronda. Peace, Priestess. They've come to aid you against the Legion. It was you in my dream. But who are you to make such an offer to us? I am the reason for the Legion's return. Years ago, I brought the Orcs into this world. And by doing so, I opened a path for the demons as well. For my sins, I was murdered by those who I killed. And the humans were not happy. Despite my death, war raged across the lands of the East for many long years, leaving entire kingdoms devastated in its wake. Now, at long last, I have returned to set things right. I am the Deev, the last guardian. I tell you now. The only chance for this world is for you to unite in arms against the enemies of all who live. Yeah, I would really be okay with some allies. I am, I feel like maybe the last battle might be at least a tad more doable if we had the humans and the orcs fighting with us. Anyway, so next time we will do Chapter 7, Twilight of the Gods, and that will be either... The, I assume either the last or maybe the second to last or it'll be one of the last missions. We are getting pretty close here. Anyway, so I hope you guys are enjoying the Warcraft 3 content. I'm still pretty torn as to whether I'm going to move straight into Warcraft 3 Frozen Throne or take a break and then take a break, do a different game, and then once we finish that game, come back. I'm still torn. I'll figure it out. Anyway, so thank you all so much for watching and we will talk to you guys later. Hey guys, Dark Lord here. I'll do Untrue. It's not easy being cheesy when we find a way. All according to plan. <laughs> Who's like the bro on the mic, yo? <laughs> He's like, calm down. Oh, you're right. I'm, I'm sorry. Shoota! Shoota! Here. Eat piano. Oh! He felt that. Thank you all so much for watching, and we will talk to you guys later.